The Safe Place is a film about a mother and her two children. They flee the city due to an outbreak of a waterborne Vodny virus, which causes its victims to become like zombies. The Safe Place was influenced by Z for Zachariah by Robert O'Brien. The BBC series can be found on YouTube. The zombie-like characters are inspired by the film Psalm 21. The children are filmed at home with virtually no vocals or sound. This will be layered on later. We've tried this system before and it worked quite well. The zombie characters are filmed on location. Special effects are added via Adobe After Effects as and when required. The colour and light are manipulated using Sony Vegas or Final Cut Pro. Sound effects are laid on at a later stage, as is the music. There's virtually no sound being recorded on the location. This will be added in the edit from a range of royalty-free foley, sound effects and music. We anticipate it being a two to three person camera shoot with outside collaboration from companies in Grimsby and in Scunthorpe. There's a requirement for a number of zombie-like characters who play an integral part of the film. These are filmed using special effects and makeup and post-production editing. Lighting is key to the visual impact we're looking to achieve. Use of 150s, 300s and a 1K will be required. Visually we're looking for a saturation of light and colour. Such techniques were tried and tested during the BYFA's filming of Richard II, details of which can be seen here. Oh, dear souls, 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 spare me not my brother's son. That blood already like the village in us, so tap out and drunk in the ground. My brother would stop. My brother would Witness good, then thou respect the not A database of musical scores and sound effects has already been generated. All sound and music is royalty free from a range of websites. Music graduates are being commissioned for original scores for specific scenes. This includes Eskimo Records and Phil Dane and Rob Distant. Funding has already been achieved through Awards for All, Lincolnshire County Council and the cooperative movement. In addition to this, we're looking for funding from SponsorMe.com, Rocket Hub, Peerbackers, Kickstarter, GoFundMe, WeFund and other local and regional funders. Help is needed via a mutually agreed brief to create a number of zombie-like characters for shooting as soon as possible. The main characters consist of Oliver, who's 10 years old. He's a shabby, blood-stained chap at the beginning of the film when we first see him. He gets cleaned up and then he doesn't really change throughout. Beth is 14. She's in the same condition as Oliver. When we see her at the beginning, she's shabby, blood-stained, messed up clothes. She gets cleaned up and then she doesn't really change throughout either. Julianne, she's the parent of both Oliver and Beth. At the end of the film, she transforms into a zombie-like character. So we're looking to have the makeup and special effects to achieve this. We have Thomas, who's six years old. We only really see him in a dream sequence. He's been left out of the film. Um, he's a character that's been left behind as they flee the city. And the husband, um, he has a horrific attack at the beginning and he gets axed to the head. Um, and then we see him in flashback scenes in various stages of um, zombie-like um, trance. There's a number of dream sequences where the main character, the female um, Julianne, um, dreams about uh, both her husband who she's killed 
and her small son who she left behind and they come back in the form of um, very colourful, saturated, um, obscure, abstract characters. There are scenes filmed within a church where zombies are found huddled in one corner. The bulk of the filming is around a bungalow, uh, a safe place, the house. And then there's an end scene in the woods where the mother realises that she's turning into one of these characters. She jumps in the car, she flees to a, a wooded area, she manacles herself down to a tree stump and ultimately takes her own life. Various zombie-like characters are required for the church scene. We're also looking to do what's called a bicycle woman style of shot from um, The Walking Dead, if we can try and mimic that. And if we can get various images um, and any spare parts, limbs and that kind of thing. But the zombie-like characters are going to be subtle, as you can see here. This is a clip from Psalm 21. Marketing wise, the safe place can already be found on its own online paper, uh, www.paper.li. You can find a whole range of uh, information via YouTube relating to it, including test shots, including inspiration, including other details. You can also find, uh, follow it on Twitter. You can follow it on its own dedicated Facebook page, Vimeo, Tumblr, WordPress, Flickr. It also has its own website, www.thesafeplace.co.uk. We're looking for this work to go viral via free upload sites, such as the ones you can see here, to get the message across. These are already being used to gain interest in it before it's shot. So why do I need the help of people doing special effects and makeup? Mainly because I cannot do any of this. As you can see here, this is work that you guys have done before and you guys are continuing to do. You have the expertise which we lack and we really would like you to become part of the team. That's the end. Thank you very much, and we hope to see you on set, and we hope to see people in the film, and we hope to see your name in the credits at the end. Please search for The Safe Place on Google, and you'll come across much more information. Thank you. It has spread outside London to other major British cities. A lot of global unrest and global uncertainty right now. Viruses, pathogens, bacteria, those come from the drinking water. Last night spread outside London to Birmingham, Liverpool, the isolated instance in Bristol and other cities.